Well, hello guys and welcome to this uh, series on creating a MongoDB API with Express.js. Um, we will be building a JSON-based API for a fictional cars dealership website. Um, we won't be um, doing anything front-end related at all. Instead, all of our work will be on the back-end. Um, you should be at least familiar with Node and Express and have some JavaScript ES 2015 under your, your belt to get the most out of this video series. I will be explaining what I'm doing, but knowing those two things will help you a lot. Um, technologies, so we will be using Node and in particular we will be using the newly enabled async await functionality so I suggest you install the latest node version at the moment that one is six point, uh, se sorry, 7.6.0 okay. um, next we will be using Express.js framework on top of the Node.js and we will be using MongoDB as our database. We won't be communicating with the MongoDB directly, but instead we will be using a Mongoose to have a much nicer time um, writing MongoDB queries. Uh, for the models, we will have two models. We will have a user and a car. Um, user schema will contain contain the following fields so we will have a first name last name email and we will have a special special field called cars which will be actually an array of the cars so the user um, will be able to sell cars and that field cars will represent the cars being sold by that particular user um, car model on the other hand will have a schema that will contain make, model, year and the seller. And I'll go on in more details about what types we should use and stuff like that when we come to this part in our video series. Next we come to the actual API endpoints. So as you can see here, here is a list of all the endpoints our API um, will have. So starting off, we have a uh, simply um, get request on the slash users endpoint. Um, we want our server to respond back with a list of all the users contained in our MongoDB. When someone sends a post request to slash users, we want to create a new user. Um, similarly, get request on the route of slash users and then slash ID we want to get that particular user via that ID um, put and patch are two ways um, of someone updating an existing um, user and I'll explain the difference more when we um, when we get to that point but for now I would just say that we are following the restful convention conventions and that's the reason why we have both the put and the patch methods in there. Next we have a delete um, request on the slash users slash ID. Um, I'm sure you can anticipate that one deleting a particular user. And now we have um, new sets of routes. So we have slash users slash ID slash cars. And whenever someone sends a get request to that route we want our server, actually our API, to list all the cars currently being sold by that particular user, thanks to that ID. Um, however, when someone sends a post request to the same route, we want to create a new use, uh, sorry, new car for that particular user. Moving on, um, we have another set of routes, basically for our, for our second model, which is a car. So whenever someone sends get request to slash cars, we want our API to return a list of all the cars in our database. Whenever someone sends a post request to slash cars, we want to create a new car. Now you might be thinking, why do we have this route over here when we have routes 
th this one route, this route that, that looks similar. Well, um, this when you send a post request to slash cars, um, that's kind of like a direct way to add a new car. So you can almost like think of this route as someone that admin should be able to to use, for example. So for example, while you want your users to use um, this route over here. Um, and th the first route get slash cars. Well, you know, um, sometimes we just want to to fetch like give me all the latest like 50 cars, and we don't care whose cars they are. So using the using this route would be tedious because we need to provide um, ID of the users. So this is a way for us to to get all the cars without worrying who is selling what. Moving on, we have a GET request on the slash cars and then the ID, um, similarly to how we handled this case over here, um, GET request on this particular route basically um, gives us back a particular car thanks to its ID. PUT PATCH, again similarly to how I described them on the user's resource. So that works the same and then again we have a delete which simply deletes a car in question thanks to its ID. Um, goal of this series isn't to teach you anything about authentication, authorization, tokens, um, cookies, stuff like that. So even though I, I even though I mentioned this users collection, um, we won't be doing anything of authentication authorization but instead we will focus on, on using the mongoose using the mongodb and um, use and, and creating a, a proper api so you will learn about the restful api design you will learn how to to query um, all sort of different um, data from the Mong mongodb database using mongoose and with the knowledge gained from this series, you should um, feel comfortable on starting to build your own APIs. So with that out of the way, um, let's get started.